And it's because of this, Matt, right? Some folks waking up in the dark needing to use those shelters, but have a look. This is a live look at Entergy's outage map, and you don't see a lot of red on there. So Entergy says they've been preparing for this, and that's why we're seeing a lot of green this morning. In fact, Callie Hubbard sat down with them to explain the big message here, what they've been doing as we move forward. Callie, good morning. And good morning to you, Liz. Energy wants you to make sure that you have all of your information up to date. So if you haven't gone into their app in a while or haven't visited their website, make sure you have your latest phone number and email in there just in case you were to lose power. You can stay up to date. They continuously send those updates and they give you a, an estimated restoration time as well. And this comes as more than a thousand workers are geared up and ready to respond to the cold snap across the state. David Freeze with Energy Louisiana says they've been monitoring the weather since mid last week and have worked to organize manpower and resources, but we're expected to get another round of cold weather this week and Energy says they're gearing up for that event too. We're ready to go for that event as well as part of our preparations and we have daily calls, you know, weather updates as well as report outs. Uh, we follow an incident command structure that, that re you know, that requires different report outs from different departments. And that um, winter weather event, the next one that will be rolling in, is a part of our preparations as well. He says the most dangerous part of a storm is often just after it passed and to watch out for those down power lines as well. And if you take a look uh, over here, you actually are going to see some of the plants. Maybe some of you have something similar to this. We're live uh, along Government Street this morning just to kind of give you a, a picture of what we're, what we're seeing out here. The same thing with the power lines, of course. We'll bring you the very latest. 1-800-ENERGY is going to be the best phone number that you can call if you see any of those down power lines. Guys? Gosh, it certainly looks cold out there. Callie, Brandon, stay warm.